tried to film this intro about seven times. The dirt monkey keeps interrupting. Look at this. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Yeah. Okay. Please go away. He keeps jumping back up onto the table, and I just don't know what to do, so I started filming for like the sixth time. Anyway, I just filmed this look. It is a greeny gold smoked out Christmas look because it's got the green and the red lip, but um, yeah, I've done three different lips, so um, I use like a super bright red, and then I've got this more like vampy glittery lip going on right now, which is a OCC tar lip tar and then I've also done the uh, neutral root for those uh, boring no <laughs> for the more sane people out there but uh, as I'm sure you guys can tell by now I do not follow the heavy on the top lighter on the bottom or heavy on the bottom lighter on the top I do what I like kind of uh, I don't even know what just happened what What do you guys think of the purple hair also? Um, I just kind of went for it. I went to the hairdresser when I came home. I was like, uh, yeah, I, I want purple. And he goes, like, a few highlights. I was like, no, just dye the whole thing. He goes, uh, I don't know. And I, normally, if he says no, I don't. But uh, well, I went for it. I kind of like it. I don't know. It's like, it's very purple in the sun. Like, you can see this one strand here is like, yeah, because I have so many highlights in my hair from years of highlighting and dyeing and... So I was like, you know what, I just want it one color, but because of all the highlights, like, some pieces are really purple, so, like, my whole head is just... Mahogany. I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you think, and I will see you guys soon. Hi, friends. So here I am taking a green metallic metal brushed Metal X shadow by MAC. And I'm using that on a 239 and patting that all the way up to the lid for a base color for the smoky eye to let the colors um, adhere better. Then I'm taking a transition color, if you will. This is Texture by MAC on a 222. Now I am taking a pigment called Old Gold, really beautiful duochrome, and putting that up on the lid all the way up to the crease. This is a NARS eyeshadow, beautiful black with gold shimmer. It's called Night Clubbing. <laughs> Perfect. So I flip the brush onto the side for better blending in the crease. And I'm just putting that on the outer V and blending it up into the crease. I'm not making it too heavy yet. Then I decided to take another pigment by Sugar Pill. It's, this one is called Absinthe. It's really pretty. It's, um, as you can see, very, very bright green. I'm taking that on a 219 pencil brush and just putting that on the lid, mainly in the inner corner, and then blending it out to the second third. Then I decided I wanted to amp it up a little bit. I used more of Night Clubbing by NARS and um, put more in the crease and the outer V. I used the same brush as the old gold um, because I didn't want it to be too heavy and um, it allows for easier blending and a much much more fluid color transition. That's also why I used um, the buffer color texture by MAC in the crease. Um, as well as crease definition it helps to um, blend out the color, it's much more seamless. Then I took whatever was left on that brush and just blended out the color even more. Blending is so essential to any eye eyeshadow look. You really can't blend too much. And if you feel like you have, just add a little bit more color. I then used a Becca liquid highlighter. I just put it under the arches of my brows and the inner corners of my eyes. I then went ahead and did my liquid liner using the Benefit push-up and um, I used L'Oreal Million Lash for my mascara. Then I used uh, just any old black eyeliner. Um, this foundation is the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, as you can see. I'm in the shade 8.0. This is an amazing foundation. I want to do a review on it very soon. 
If you need light to medium coverage, it's perfect, it's buildable, it feels like skin, it looks like skin, it's just so wonderful. You need this. So make sure you blend into those pesky little corners like around your nose and blend the under eye area because there normally are quite a few creases or folds of skin that, you know, are just annoying. And you really don't need too much concealer with this foundation. I've just put a very little bit of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm in the color Biscuit. And as I said in the beginning, I use three different lipsticks for three different kind of looks. This is a nude lip. I used a YSL in uh, number three. This is a lip tar by OCC in Metal Dahlia. And for the last look, I wanted a bright red lip. This is a NARS Audacious Lipstick in Charlotte. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and here's another blooper of my kitty.